Yo, welcome back to the channel, Ed Talks About. I'm Ed, and good morning. Well, for me, it's half past seven in the morning, but you're probably gonna see this at about one, two o'clock or something like that. That's probably when I'll upload it, but you know. First of all, I hit the thousand subs. Mate, listen, I was sitting in bed. It was about half past 11 at night. I'm just about to go to bed. Bang, looked on it, scrolled up, reloaded the page. Bang, 1,000, snapshot, boom. Yes, bruv, yes, bruv. Man, oh, do you know what, I was so hyped. I was so hyped, I had to get up, come back downstairs, like another nightcap, I should say. Yeah, I was so gassed, well hyped. Thank you very much, can't believe it, awesome. I was hoping it'd coincide with the Snowden trip and it sort of has. I mean, well, just a few days and I'll be off. So, yeah, man. Seriously, thank you very much for all the love, all the subscribers, all the likes. Man, seriously, I couldn't thank you enough. Seriously, if I could give you a cuddle now, I would. Spud, whatever, you know, thank you very much. <laughs> One minute. Let me just do this and we get onto the video, yeah? Thanks once again, man. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right, cannabis hypermesis syndrome. What is it? Some of you might not even have heard of it. CHS, right? So what the symptoms are, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach cramps, yeah? So if you, every time you consume cannabis and that happens, you've got CHS, that's standard. So it's not, don't get it twisted, yeah? It's not when you, like, you're smoking with your boys, you're smoking with your mates and you could you have a bit too much and then someone throws out they're greeny out or they whitey or whatever you want to call it right that's not chs that's just because you've taken too much now what i believe is there's two types of people in this world yeah this is my theory this is nothing else so we all know that our diet is stripped of cannabinoids it's not what it like it used to be Hemp used to be in everything, or hemp seed. People used to eat cannabis. You know, it used to be in our bodies constantly. We used to feed it. But our bodies also produce cannabinoids. They produced all cannabinoids, right? And that's your endocannabinoid system, yeah? And your, it, all, it, all, it, all, it all ties in together. So because we've been stripped of cannabis, right? We're now trying to consume cannabis. So I reckon some of us have like so some people i believe they produce their endocannabinoid system and their body is producing enough cannabinoids for their body to be kept in a stasis situation yeah people like me who who uses cannabis on a daily i believe that my cannabinoid my endocannabinoid system needs to be fed so i feed it i feed it cannabinoids i feed it all different types of cannabinoids yeah there's full spectrum, not just THC, yeah? You've got the full spectrum. So when these people that have got the perfect cannabinoid being produced, cannabinoids being produced in their body, when they consume cannabis, it just overwhelms their system. Their body's saying, no, 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 bruv, you don't need this. I've already producing enough of that, bruv, you don't need it, you know what I mean? So when they consume it, they start throwing up, they start having diarrhea, they start getting stomach cramps. Do you know? That's my theory. So I believe that cannabis hypermesis syndrome happens to people who have got very good endocannabinoid systems and it doesn't need to be fed like the 99% of the rest of the world. It's only a small percentage of people that get CHS. So this is why I'm thinking that, I think it's something to do with that. I think that their body's already producing enough. So when they consume more, they don't need it. It's just rejecting it because it doesn't need it. People like me and you, or if you're watching this, you're probably the same as me and you consume daily. We don't get constant vomiting, constant diarrhea, constant stomach aches. We don't get that. And if you did get that, you need to stop consuming cannabis. And if you, did, if you do suffer from it, but not 
as bad as some people. Some people will have a couple of pulls and they're throwing up. Some people, they can consume a gram a day and they feel a little bit woozy or that, you know, like, but they can, they can deal with it because they need to. If you're one of them people that has a little bit of nausea or a little bit, you know, like, you're feeling that you might have a bit of CHS when you're smoking, you think, I do feel a bit funny, actually. Like, I don't feel always stunned. <laughs> a cold shower will help that right out. Do not use, do not take a hot shower or a hot bath. Even though you feel like you want to, do not do it. It's a cold shower is what you need. And also you need some sort of electrolyte drink. I don't know, what, whatever your preference is, something like that. So if you're feeling a bit, you know when you feel a bit like, you feel like, oh, I feel a bit sick. And if this happens quite right, you can, you can try and sort it out and try and manage your CHS. But if you're one of them people that just couple pulls and then you're throwing up, then you, you can't consume cannabis. I'm sorry to say, it's just, you're not, you won't be able to. So yeah, cannabis hypermesis syndrome. It happens, I don't know the percentage. It doesn't happen to everyone. It happens to a, a very small amount of people. And it is, it does have different stages. So if you're one of the unlucky ones that has it, I'm sorry for you, man, I, I do, like, I don't know what to say. Maybe we can get some sort of placebo. Just, and you know what? If you're one of them people actually that can't consume cannabis, all the cannabinoids, terpenes. You can still, have you seen the little terpenes and you get this little tiny, it's like a, a, a glass pipette, right? And you dip it in your terpene and you pull it from one end. And you don't get, it doesn't go in your mouth. All you're doing is you're getting pure flavor. Natural cannabis, if you get CDTs, cannabis derived terpenes, all you're doing is, and it's just pure flavor. You're not getting no cannabinoids, no tears, nothing. So if you're one of them unlucky people, you can still taste it. You can still do it, but you just won't be able to get higher. Or you won't be able, if you're using it for pain, you just, you won't be able to, oh, I apologize. But, yeah, man. But yeah, I do, I mean, I, I do empathize with you because I love cannabis, you know that. And uh, when I first heard of cannabis hypermesis syndrome, yeah, I thought it was some crap um, propaganda. And I started looking into it, I was like, you know what, it's actually a thing, man. Like, some people do suffer from it. So, yeah, like I say, if you're one of them people, try the terpene thing. You can still get therapeutic benefits from just vaporizing the terpenes. So. I would try that if I was you. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for making me hit a thousand. I do, honestly, I love you. Thank you very much. The giveaway, don't worry, that's going to be coming soon. Let me just get Snowden out of the way, yeah? And then I'll sort the giveaway out. We'll do something, I'll, I'll let you all know on the channel. We'll do something, some sort of thing. I don't know. I've been talking to a couple of people. I don't know what to do yet, but I've got a few plans. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm gonna say it to you again, you know that, don't you? If no one said it to you today, all right? I'm gonna say it to you. I love you, and I hope you have a blessed day. I hope the day goes on like this, man. It's early enough. Yeah, buff. Take care, see you on the next one.